This free acrylic tutorial is being brought to you by the Ginger Cook Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting and contributions from caring viewers like you. Now, on with the show. And now, without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the Queen of Color, the Mother of Artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning Master Acrylic Artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylic. Look at that. Two in a row. <laughs> two in a row. Two in a row. We're on time. Okay, so. We're on time. Uh, well, well, everybody's on. enjoyed um, enjoyed the, the, the May uh, uh, programs where we, we showed you guys how to do some different palette knife techniques. So today we're going to go uh, back to um, probably some brushes. May do a little palette knife, but I think mostly it's just going to be brushes. Maybe do a little. We'll see at the end of this. I'm gonna. You're going to paint along with me. I'm going to show you how to kind of dissect a photograph. We're going to paint a mason jar with some with some pretty daisies in them, and um, I think these are called uh, black-eyed Susans. That's what they call these. Oh, and, that's uh, right, yeah. Black-eyed Susans and a mason jar. And so, you know, I think that's going to be fun. One of the things that um, we want to make sure um, that we uh, remind everybody of is that when, if we're not actually doing a live live show, John and I are we're doing, doing a semi -live we're show. doing semi live with premieres, and so if you miss the fun of the live chat, read the stuff on the on the sidebar because if you are watching this after we've done a premiere, um, oh well, then you can see there there's some fun chat questions that are being asked. Also, um, if we are watching during the premiere, if you happen to be catching the first time we air this. Um, well, that's cool, too, because I'll be typing away, and I just want to have a caveat. I don't type well. I type in all caps. I'm not shouting at anybody, <laughs> and my spelling is ferocious. But nonetheless, I will answer your questions as best possible. And um, uh, John, John's a much better typist than me, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, no, because we're each on. We are each on the live chat. We're each on there, and we're here to answer your questions. So that being said, let's get right down Wait, to no, it. Wait, no, no. Tell them to subscribe now. Oh, yeah, subscribe now for sure. I, I would just think that you'd be so excited just to get the idea of this. You'd subscribe. Subscribe now and, um, you know, save this uh, into your playlist. and uh, Share it with your friends. Well, share it with your friends. All right, we're down. Get back to work. All right, so this is, uh, some of you may remember, this is one of our simple masons, a, a little mason jar with a, with a brush in it. This is a YouTube video that we have. And um, apparently mason jars are in right now, so... I found this um, little photo on, um, I think it was um, Pixabay, I think. And um, I thought it was kind of nice. Now we're going to do some alterations to it. Here's a black and white version of that. And you see it's got some really nice lights and dark highlights. Look at the light on the stem. Um, look at the nice light on some of the petals. Um, we're not going to put the silly wooden background in the back. We're going to just do a plain background, a little 8x10 canvas. And we're going to move it up. He, he didn't give us a lot of room. We're going to move this up a little bit, give us more of a table. Yeah, way too much room at the top. So what we want to do here is with a, start with a background that's dried and just brown, any old color brown, doesn't matter. And, and we're going to take a brush like this. You've either got one like this, or maybe this is an Art Sherpa tongue brush. You want a fairly stiff brush, and uh, we're not going to have any water on it. It's not even damp, okay? So I'm going to, and it, I like one like this because I can roll it. So I'm going to take a little bit of um, burnt sienna, and I'm just going to come up here, and using the tip of this brush, I'm just going to kind of, you see how I'm kind of rolling it on there? Now, take a little bit of burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. Let's mix those together. That's a darker color. Let's come on over here. Now look what I'm getting here, like this. And the secret to using one of these is to always overlap your wet edges so you don't end up with a patchwork quilt, all right? So I want a little cad red medium and ultramarine blue. That's a very, very pretty. Um, see, I keep coming out here with the reds, right? See, kind of roll my brush. See, I want this sort of beautiful reddish dark kind of background. Kind of a maroonish. 
Yeah, and uh, so you, you've got, here's a little just burnt umber all by itself, but ultramarine blue and burnt umber is pretty. That's our darkest color. Coming in over here, then very gently kind of smoosh this together and keep going around in the circles like this and uh, come on down. Now there's a trick to this. If you, if you can, we've got a video on how to do this on YouTube. It's a, it's a pretty standard background for a lot of still lifes. Even and, portraits. and it's a really a perfect background. For instance, let me show you one. If, most of you know that we have a fine art school for acrylic painting. From very beginner, never touched a brush to advanced. And here's, for instance, a background that's done the same way, but a more advanced still life, okay? And, uh, you know, that's a, uh, you can see where we're doing the same technique that for, for our mason jar, all right? So anyway, this is an academy lesson, and um, it's called uh, Cherokee Roses and salamander vase and um, anyway those are this is the y y there's a lot kinds of stages of acrylic painting but you got to you know that you can learn to do which is kind of cool right but the but, but master this background okay this is a must have for um, your uh, pa uh, paintings now do you find it, it easier to do with a round brush than you do with a well uh, the thing with these brown brushes you, you'll eventually ruin a brush you can do it with a brush like this but can you see the brush? It's kind of ruined. Yeah, it's got. Kind of, it's You'll just furry. absolutely ruin a brush. These are designed for that. Okay. And, and all the, you know, and you'll notice how I'm holding it like this, and I'm, I'm Keep rolling the brush around, barely touching it up here. You don't want to go. If you stay in one space, you'll make a hole like a tire spinning in mud, and once you get a hole, you can't fix it. Wow, that's a disclaimer. That's, that's a bold statement. Yeah, you can't fix it. So you know you don't want that. So here's a little bit of yellow oxide. And I'm going to come down here with that and a little bit of burnt sienna. And I want to say that that's my, I'm going to say, we'll see, it's about, what, four fingers? I'm going to say that that's my table. I'm going to come down here like that and say this has got to be my table. And then rather than have a um, an actual table line, I'm just going to kind of blend the background into the table, like a little bit like that. Now we've got, I know where my table is. And then I'm going to lighten it up in here. It's this next coat. Okay. And write down how you did it. Then if you make a mistake and you have to fix something, you can come back with these colors. Write down your colors. That's never a bad plan. So it looks like we have yellow oxide, ultramarine blue, cad red, burnt sienna, mm -hmm. cad yellow, and who's the guy? And at I the top? actually didn't even get into the cad yellow yet. I just really didn't. But I could. Who's the guy like, at the very top? That's burnt, burnt uh, umber. Oh, burn right, so here's some orange, right? Whoa. So here's an orange color, and if I were to put that down here on my base, see how pretty that is? Um, maybe I'll just have a little of that color down here. That's that's a nice kind of warm it up for where the, 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 the mason jar and the flowers are going to be, right? And let's come on up. Let's just sneak it up here like that and bring this up this side. Yeah, like that, see? So and then and then what you do and then if you if you if you wanted to do more than that I would dry it and do another layer of this. You can really get fun with the colors. <clears throat> this is a very simple uh, background that we have. On, it's one of our b basic beginner lessons on our academy. Very b basic beginner. And it's just a glass vase and three roses. And you see the background's done similarly, but we haven't blended the blue as much in it. All right, but similar. And uh, but we have a nice a balance of warm and cool colors. So again, uh, we start with one cookie beginner, very basic lessons, and we go on all, all the way up to a, a box of cookies, which is, oh, I, MG, I can't believe I painted that, right? But, but you learn, it, you, you build this up in stages, and you, you know, you, you can always, you know, make it your goal this year to, to see about advancing. And one of the ways that you can do that is not only getting some, you know, you know good le art lessons, but taking advantage of personal art coaching, too. I'm going to go ahead and dry this, John. Can, can I? Okay. Would you have a question? Well, just the right side. Is that how you wanted to leave it over there in the lower right? Well, oh, here? Yeah. I'm just um, asking. I didn't know. Well, you know what? It's not done, but um, I will I will add something to it later. Okay. Okay? But yeah. once the brush is wet, I really can't go back and fix this. I am with you. Okay. Hi. When John Little and I Hi. first got together, um, he was in Michigan and I was in Houston. We started the Academy of 
fine art and acrylic painting about four and a half years ago. And our goal was to take people who'd never painted before and really show them the basics that you needed, the foundation of acrylic painting, all the way up to the highest level of something you might find in a museum. And I've got to tell you that the artists that have uh, been with us for this, uh, even just a couple of years, are painting things you wouldn't believe. Started out painting party, very simple art. Maybe that's why they got interested. And now they've come over to the academy with, through the aid of personal art coaching. I'm telling you what, you won't believe all the wonderful reasons why you want to become an Academy member, but most of all, most of all, it just takes the groundhog day out of painting. Because if you're making the same mistakes over and over again every time you paint, it's got to be a little frustrating. Let's get better every time we paint. Come join the Academy. Awesome. Okay. We're back. All right, so we're just going to get some, uh, somewhere under here, I'm just going through my pile of canvases looking for things I can show you. Here we go. I'm going to get a colored pencil out and uh, draw this in here. All right. Now, um, I want my mason jar up a little higher. Just not... Here's dead center. I'll move it over. Mm. Mm. Just a little <laughs> bit here. And I'm going to come up about three fingers. And I don't like that. Let's see. This is Goldilocks in her bag of tricks here. How about your gray one that's in there? Gray. Yeah, gray might be okay. Let's see. Does gray show up? Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Now, here's what you want to do. You want to have a T-square. Figure out how wide you want it. And um, we're going to start here. And I'm just going to start here and say, I'm going to, let's say, I'm, I'm going to come here about like this come up, up on each side like this. This is how this is how wide I want it. About three fingers up. This is about two and a quarter finger, two, two, two and a little finger wide. How's that? <laughs> Don't you like my measurements? <laughs> you have giant hands. Everybody has the same size hand. If you have do. giant hands, get a bigger <laughs> canvas. I don't know what to tell you, right? <laughs> so now I'm going to come up here on this side, just lining up my T-square. My and I'm going to just draw a line up here like this. Come over here and draw a line like that. Okay. There. So this is the bottom of my jar like this, like that. See, bottom of my jar. And I think I'm wide enough. Let's see how wide this was. Just for just for chuckles. Right? How wide was this? This was like a... Hmm. You have a ruler right there. I know, but I was right. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you trace it on. That's right. God. Okay. So then, what it does is, when you get up about this far, here, just just do something like this. So it's the same on both sides. That's the secret, right? So whatever it is, the same on both sides. That's the secret. And come in like this, and come in like that, and then keep going up with this line for a minute. Just it, it'll it'll wipe off. Just keep going up with your straight line with me. Make sure you've gone up here like this. There's your straight line, okay? Go up far enough, right? Because what you need to do then is um, somewhere between the edge of this and here is the start of your your curve. This curves slightly, just light, slightly like this. Comes up about an inch curves this way. I think that's going to give me enough room here. I feel like it is. I feel like this is. And then I want to come out a little bit. Just come out. Just make that slightly more curved than it looks and then bring it back down. So it's a little bit too straight a line. See what I mean? Just sort of curve it in like this. And there's my there's my jar. And of course we've got a bit, you know, we've got a flower here. Okay. And um, right where this comes up here, this is my little lip here. Okay, you don't see much, that much of the jar. And then about where this comes up here and comes up about an inch is where our water line is. And this curves like this. This is our water. They didn't, these flowers are barely going to make it. They look like something I would do because they didn't put enough water in the jar. But that's all right. We're going to do that, right? So then, and then we've got um, right here, our first flowers right here, okay? 
And this is really simple because I mean here's a here's a petal here and here's one here and you've got a petal coming out like that. So you don't really see the top of the jar, but we put it in there anyway because we're those kind of people. We do that stuff. This one's curving. Okay. Alright, so you got the first flower. And then it's kind of snucking over here. You've got one that's doing Snucky. This snucking, this is almost sneaking. It's kind of snucky suckies. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got sort of one that has seen better days. But there you go. It's doing this, and then this one. Um, That's more of like a side view. So yeah, this is a side view. Um, yeah, it definitely is a side view of this flower. And then you've got another one, kind of sneaking around here. That's off here. Really did a nice job on arranging those, having some forward, some side. Yeah, then this one's on down. the side here. And um, this one, classy. this one's kind of airplaned this way. Okay, so I'm just going to indicate it. And I've got this one coming up like that. And I don't know if I'm going to do the fifth one. I'm going to do this one here like this. Kind of move it more over this way. This will be our... Well, I don't think I'll do that last one because I'm running out of room because I brought the jar up. Which I wonder if I have to move that jar down. I'm awfully high up with those flowers. What do you have down below? I need to oh, lower. Oh, you really are really high. I'm too high. All right, but this is easy. This is easy. We're just going to come <laughs> down here. The same thing. This is so easy. Look here. We're just, uh, oh, we're just doing an extension. This is a, you, you it's all a know, new type of mason jar. They just introduced it. This is an extension. We're just going to come on down with it. And lower it. Okay, we can do that. We could have traced it on too. But what would where's be the, the challenge in that? Where's the challenge in that? I ask you, where's the challenge in that? So there's Anybody the top of this trace. jar. All right, we just we just lowered it, right? Good. This is why we use chalk. Yeah, that's exactly why we use chalk. We just lowered the jar here like this. Did you lower the jar very much? Yeah, I think uh -huh. so. I would have gone about a half maybe inch maybe come down a little bit further. Ooh, it's a third extension. Yeah, it's all right. I can do it. There. All right, because this is where I want the top of it, right? And I need a little more jar here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you go. All right, there you go. Done. Oh, good. And, and then we'll, here's the bottom of this now. Good. Here's our water. Good. And then here's flower number one, which is same thing. Doesn't hurt to draw it in again. It wasn't that hard to begin with. Yes. Here's our petals. One's kind of overlapping. They don't all just stick out like stuff you remember when you were a kid. They kind of overlap. And you've got this side one here, which is good, right? We'll just do something like, like that. We'll just sort of, this is kind of where that one goes. And you've got this one sticking up here. Who caused the problem to start with. Yeah, he was uh, airplaned out too much. And then we've got this one here up at the top. And he's doing his little flowery thing with the petals and this this petal this flower sticking over him his little stems coming kind of this way and you got one guy coming out there so he was still kind of there right yeah he was still sort of there just lowering him just a little bit yeah you could have kept him you could have kept him but we just had to we had to bring it all down a little bit but that's all right. That is that good. This is, and you could have, you know, and the other thing, wow, this is nice to know now. Thanks, Ginger. You could have, yes, and yes, you could have brought this out on a piece of paper and then transferred it on, too. I know, and here's the, here's your water doing this in here, but you don't see it, and here's the bottom of your jar. Okay, yes, and yes. I think that's great. And all right, we'll be back next week to uh, complete the painting. <laughs> okay, so now. Now that we have, now that we've got that done, right? Yes and yes, now that we've done that. Okay, so let's um, come back here with my photo here. Um, let's just start painting this in. So probably, you know, the, and you all know this, if you want something yellow, it helps to have it white first, yeah? Yeah. And I'm going to use just a, a, I like this uh, fluid acrylic for that. So I'm going to just shake, shake it up and add some fluid acrylic. I want a tiny brush, and I, I think I want that. And I also want to have some, mix some green, which means we need some phthalo blue. A lot of green in this jar. 
This will be fun. You guys, this is the easy part now. Now that's that was the hard part. This is all easy now, right? We're on a home run. Awesome. We're on a home run. Hmm. Home run. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, obviously we don't want a white outline jar. If you look at the photograph, where's the white? There's a little bit of light here, but the rest of this is not white. It's it's got some color to it. So let's take a little bit of ultramarine blue and and um, yellow oxide, make a bit of green color. Maybe put a bit of white with that, right? Kind of a nice gray green color. Maybe make it a little darker, like that. There we go. And I'm going to come up here like this, and uh, just come right over the chalk, and uh, make sure that you've got the. Here, let's make this a bit darker now as we come down toward the bottom. This side's a little darker. I'll make this a little darker right here. Now, all right, so I'm going to say this is a little bit darker here. So we come down on the sides. Now, on the right side, a little, little yellow oxide and a dirty brush and white. And here's this side. And we're going to make this a little wider, right like this. And uh, the trick is I don't want you to outline. I want you to put in color. All right, can you do that? Don't outline. Just put in little blobs of color. If you can do that, if you can imagine this was color. In fact, let's turn the whole thing upside down and just put in color, and you can see what I'm talking about here. All right, so we saw that color, and then there's a little bit of this light color right here. It's coming in here, and you know you've got a little bit of this green line coming here like that, where the chalk was. And um, mostly you see, what you see in a glass face is you'll see... Um, you'll see um, the, 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 the highlights of lights and stuff <coughs> lighting, you know, flickering off of it. You know what I mean? Like right here on this edge, it's lighter. Let's take a little bit. This one angle brush is so nice. This little edge here is lighter. You can see that. And then we've got a little bit of light right here. Just swish it. Here, a little bit of white. Let's just swish that right there on top, right? And let's say we've got a little bit of light right there, okay? And as we get up to this edge right here on this one, um, we come around this way. We'll, again, we'll put a petal over it, but might as well just put it in. Okay, so now what? Well, you know how to make gray, right? So gray is uh, ultramarine blue, cad red medium, and white. Okay, so now that you've got that down, um, more ultramarine blue, a little bit of white. So that's our gray color. You can put a little brown in it if you want it even grayer. Now I want a light gray, so then I just add more white to that. Yes and yes. So, all right, so something about like this. I'm going to come along like this and uh, paint the top part of my mason jar going this way, the top of it. Okay, because remember, acrylics is all about layers. And the dark, the other side is very dark. So rather than rinse my brush, I will just add more blue and red and brown. Here's my dark side to this mason jar over here. Okay, see that? And it's darker up, up here. Okay, so let's grab some of this gray color. Make sure that we haven't gone too far astray here. Okay. That's kind of cool, yeah? Now, if we took a little bit of light, did you see how I'm pinching the brush? So if we take a little bit of light. Like the sound effects? Absolutely. That's why it works. Yeah, that's right. If you don't have the sound effects, it's like kind of like um, clicking your heels together and saying home Toto or whatever. She did. Do home Dorothy sweet did. home. Yep. You don't want to. Home. Home on the range. Okay. And just say that this comes down here a little bit lighter edge here. A buffalo. Okay. We want to paint a buffalo. You know, there's there's if I've ever told you on if you drive to San Antonio from from Houston, there's a some people that raise buffaloes. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue and burnt umber. It's a pretty dark color. And just up in here, I want it pretty dark. Now, there's some dark up here, too. There's some dark 
And we're going to call that the, some of the stems. Let's get some blue and brown. That's going to be our, and maybe a bit of yellow. Let's make this dark green color. We're going to say that there's our stems. And we're going to, you can see that I've got some just dark shadows in here. Do you guys see that? It's just not just, here we go. I'm just, you see, I'm just planting in blocks of color. Right? Can you guys see that? Just blocks of color. This is dark. And then if I want to, um, you know, add a little bit of light over that, you want some stems that are crossing over this way. Let's see, we want some little phthalo blue. That's a little bit brighter. Okay, a little bit of white. Okay, let's get a little more yellow. Yeah, so we've got some just kind of tucked against the edge of this jar here. Like that, we've got some stems. So we've got something going here. We've got a stem that's bending this way and going back. Got another one that's doing that. Some, some, there's some light right here where some stems are. Then back down into this dark business. Stems are coming down to the bottom, and then there's a little bit of a dark shadow. You know from what, but something right there on the side of the jar, like that. This is the fun part. There's just, um, you don't even have to know what you're painting. Just paint in, pretend like this is the new Martian word for hello and you're the ambassador. And just try to, you know, follow the pattern. Yes, and yes. Here, this is, there you go. Follow the pattern, you guys. On the light side, there's something coming up like that. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over now. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Just the Tim's in the bottom of a jar. Yeah, how about that? Hmm? As my mother used to say, how about that? <laughs> now, here's a little light gray here in the back, right? So we're going to get right back here where this is. How about that? We're going to come in front of our stems here and say this is our light. And then we'll see, what do we know we have? We have some green here. This is our dark green line right here in front of this. We will do blue. Okay, I'm going to exaggerate some of these like that. I think there was something green coming up in this area too. Oh yeah, there was this dark green leaf. This was cute, right? So there's this dark green leaf right here that was here that was searched in the... Whoever planted, whoever um, threw these, these in water didn't bother to throw the, take the leaf. Everybody knows you take the leaves off. I guess they didn't know. You <laughs> can't say that everybody knows, can you? I guess not, because you're supposed to do that. Now, here's the white coming over that, see? And who said you're supposed to do that? Well, it, it just makes the water go dirty, honey, quick. No. That's why you do it. All right, so I want a light green right here. See, we're all good, yeah? So light green. You think it would give them more water having a bigger surface? Well, they were hungry, thirsty. They were something. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> well, look how cute that is. I think it's great just like it is. Yeah, we haven't even thrown up their other flowers yet. And here's another thing here, like that. All right, so we said that there's something down here at the bottom of the jar. Yeah, that's what we said, yes and yes. Yes and yes. We'll put a snail in there. Yeah. That one guy who always puts creatures in his... Who was that guy? It's a guy thing, though. You know what I mean? You know, when I was a kid, I was the one that put salt all over the slugs in the backyard. That's Plus, not very nice. It wasn't. I was that kid. Oh, just. You were one of those, huh? All right, so now what do we know, for instance? Well, we know that. Let's just talk about what we know. We know we want a dark line under here like that. We know that for sure, right? We know that this is coming out a little further on this side. We know that for sure. Yeah. And we know that we're not going to see that anyway. We'll bring it up anyway, right? There's our, there's our jar. I mean, that's... And then we know that this is a little bit... Here's a little bit of brown. We know that this is a little bit darker. Let's put a little blue with that down here in the base. Okay, right like that. It's a little bit darker down there. And then there's a tiny bit of light back here. Did you remember this? You want to get really technical? Here, just take the side. This is why you want an angle brush. You don't even have to draw it. You just sort of tap it, tap in. it in, right? 
Who we said that together. We did, right? And then here was a little bit of white that came right like this. Pinch the brush, a couple little white streaks like this, something right there, something right here, like this, and maybe a little yellow oxide in white. And I'm going to just to do a little something like that. A little bit lighter here on this edge. Okay, too much white, so you see how I'm pulling it toward me. Okay. Turn that out. And then there was, they've actually managed to get some petals in this. This is sad, right? Sad state of affairs. There's actually some petals that are in the water down here. It kind of drowned down here, some little flower. It's had its last little flowery life down here. <laughs> Just, who are these people? I think don't put enough them. water. There, there, there just, must be just, a just, flower a, society that we can complain to. I was wondering if just somebody we could ask, right? Is that, that this surely can't be right? <laughs> just they can't be doing this. It's no, just let's wrong. lighten this up in here like this. A couple of places with our lights. Look at that. Is well, it? I'm loving that jar. Isn't that pretty? I think we ought to just stop there. Well, no, I mean, yeah, it's really nice, right? It just, uh, you know, just if you have. It fun. conveys a jar. Yeah, there you go. Here. Just lovely, right? I'll just, I'll just do something like this. Okay? So now, I mean, that's kind of cool. Yes and yes. Yes, yes and, and yes. Yes It's cool, right? So now let's take the, let's lighten up our mason jar a bit here. Because remember, acrylics dry darker, so we, here's our gray. So we want to lighten this up here. A little bit lighter than this. And now uh, make sure that we're um, got this light. Okay. Wow, just how fun is that? And then there's this, you know, they had this light here. I think we could be a little more subtle than that. Just there. There's our light, right? In here. I'll just, I'll just say here, right, like this. There's a little bit of light to indicate the water, yeah. I'm liking that. I do too. I, th this kind of stuff makes me really happy. You know, I like all kinds of different kinds of painting. We, you know, one thing we'll tell you in, in our academy, and I hate to keep, you know, well, this whole show is sponsored by our academy, so we're going to talk about it. How, <laughs> there you go, right? But for instance, this is a style, of, this was a painting we taught in the academy recently. Totally different than this, right? Totally. But, you know, learn how to paint all this stuff. Expand your horizons, and then what? Then you're going to find your niche. But it'll be easy. It'll just, it'll come to you naturally, you know? You'll find so, a style that just really clicks with you. That's it. So I'm going to get something really light here in the way of something light green. And, you know, I want something really light green. And I think the only way to get that is to clean the brush. I'd like this to even be brighter here, these little stems. Let me just show you. Well, we'll do. The, let's leave those for now, right? Because we're pretty good. They're probably pretty not fully good. dry yet either. Yeah, we're let's do those. And so then what, then what happens? Well, there's a, the, the light's coming from this way. You know, and there's a shadow this way, right? So then I don't want to use this brush for the shadow, but I could use a little stiffer one. Here's a, here's a, one of the Ruby Scent Silver Just Bright brushes. And I'm going to take a little bit of the ultramarine blue and, and, and um, burnt umber. <laughs> and I'm going to come under here like this. We stumped the panel. Yeah, I had to think about that for a minute. And I'm going to come this way and suggest here's a... Here's this shadow that's going this way from the mason jar. See? Now, suddenly, what happened here is sitting there, and then maybe we'll just suggest that there might be something over here. That's a, you know, we're not really talking about the table, but there might be, you know? Just something back here. We're going to just, just do something like this. And um, it's darkest. The shadows are always darkest next to whatever they're doing the shadow for, right? But already this is sort of sitting under here now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, before you did that, it was floating a little bit. Yeah, of course. it went. That's how you keep something from floating. Exactly right. So um, so then, you know, we're sitting there saying, now remember I told you to keep, keep track of how you did things. Yes, I warned everybody about that, yeah? So here's the 
Is this where that color journal thing keeps coming? Yeah, the in? color journal. Because, for instance, right here, I want to make sure that I've got something a little lighter here next to this jar here, and I'll do it inside too, like this, and come down here like that, kind of lighten this little spot right here. So basically, okay. you want to remember how you did the background. Yeah, you got to remember how you did it because you may need to come up and, you know, and do adjust a few, it. And, and adjust it. Yeah, and this is what we're talking about here, and maybe you want to lighten up this. Here, a little bit lighter, and say, here's um, maybe I want this to be a little bit lighter coming this way. I don't have to do a pale green like they did, but it wouldn't hurt to put some of this color in there if I'm going to have it in the jar that it's reflecting, then it probably needs to be here somewhere, right? And let's see, let's balance this out like this. There, see, how cool is that? So we haven't had to do much, but that's I think that's very pretty. I mean, we did nothing else. That's pretty nice. All right, let's take a minute, dry this, and we'll put on our flowers. All right, one moment while I cue up a word of wisdom. All righty, dry. I try to get them in 30-second spots, which some of them are in 30 minutes. Three minutes. Well, okay, what can I tell you in 30 seconds about... <coughs> Well, I coughed there. I lost three seconds there. I'm, and now you're blabbing. Now, I'm, now, I'm now I'm panicked. But listen, don't you panic. Become a member of the Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club on Facebook. Join a merry band of artists. It's free. It's fun. And you can place to show your acrylic paintings off and, and get tips and get all the gossip about John and I. And They were the first ones to know we got engaged. You could have been there on know if you were a member, too. So I'm saying that real fast. Maybe they didn't know that. Oh. Well, <laughs> did you know? <laughs> you ought to watch more videos, then you'd find out. So be sure to share this in your playlist. If you're enjoying the video you're watching, I hope you are. Surely you are. And uh, thanks for subscribing to our channel. We're back. All right. How cool is this? This nice. This is really pretty, right? I'm already loving this jar of weeds here. <laughs> Just really making me I happy. I believe those are stems. Yes. Well, yes. And then, um, at least that's what they're supposed to be. Exactly so. Um, exactly so. All right. So we want to take thalo blue in yellow. Cad yellow. Cad yellow medium. And let's make a bright green. That's like bright. Now, more yellow. Just ignore that pile. Come on over here and do this. See? Ignore you're making, that pile. You're making the circus green. Yeah. So more yellow, right? So, so this is the light yellow I want. Now let's get some white to it. There's my light yellow. Look how light that is. See? Now, if I add a tiny bit of either, like a drop, do you see how little? Can you hold that over the other, hold that over there. Ooh, you like, just got it right on the tip, that's yeah, it. Yeah, see, just a tiny bit that tones it down so it's just not in your face. Now I'm gonna take turn this like this, using this wide brush, wipe off a little bit. This I'm just gonna tap in. All right, you're putting a highlight on the, the where the light's stem. coming from. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Let's zoom in for that action. Yeah, like that, right? Let's put a little more white in it. No, there was just a few. They weren't all this way. There was just some, and they were just in some places. Yeah, okay, so it just water. wasn't everywhere. So there you go, see? It was just in a couple of places. That's cool. You don't want to get you don't want to get carried away. But there was just you see that we just had a couple, and then there was like a little, um, maybe another little one that just came up like that, or something like that. But you don't 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 get too screwy with me on this, okay? <laughs> this was there's a white one there. Ooh, that looks good, right? A little bit of white on top of that. Here, let's do a little light on top of the jar here. Here again, see what we're doing. Kind of keep it keep lighting it up. Yes. We got to keep the lights on, and um, same thing here. We got to keep the lights on. All right, so there, gets brighter and brighter. Okay, so now I want that same color for these stems. There's a couple of stems here that are pretty important to do, and they need to go on before anything else goes on. And there's that one, and there's this one coming in here and then there's this guy 
right like that. There's the light part of that stem. There's three stems. And then there's a darker part of this with a little more blue in it. You know, if I turn it, I'm going to go over just the outside edge of this with some blue. Same thing on this side, just the outside edge of this one. And then I need the white and uh, flatten that out. Because it's really not white anymore, it's kind of a light green, you know, like that. It's kind of a light green. And that got a little bit whiter than I want it. Let's put some green in it. There you go. Alright, so that's um that's this, okay? Yeah. Okay, so now what? Well, that's got to, those stupid little things have to dry uh, before we can get too much further, but we can probably do the first, um, probably do the first uh, petal. So we're going to take some white paint. Clean brush. Clean brush, right? And let's just decide where he is. Let's uh, figure out where the stem well, is. Get the pencils out from under there because you're rocking. Hmm. Yeah, so th this was... Um, Mm -hmm. This petal comes about this far down here, this front one, okay? There's this, and then this goes up about this far, this way. All right, so I knew that. All right, so now I'm going to come here like this, and just in the white, I'm going to put this in. All right? And you're doing white now, so... Because yellow only paints well over white. And then here's this one. Kind of that comes over the top of the jar like that. Here's our stem. This is another wide one. There's a little one behind it. And there's just not, you know, scribble daisies. And then there, of course, there's that brown. And then this is here, like this. It's just a little one that's kind of away from it. It's a little foreshortened, a little rounder, a little fatter one. Okay, and then here's a guy going here, kind of in front of that stem, in front of this stem, like this, and they're curves. Yeah, they're curving, yeah. And then, all right, this was our main one right here, right? And then we have one that's coming off like this. Doesn't, doesn't cover the jar. There we go. This guy's doing that. Okay, so flower one, yeah? Yes and yes? All right, yes and yes. Everybody's with me on this. Absolutely. And then we've got we've got this one, and let's just draw the top of his his little button thing here. It's like a jelly bean, you know what I mean? Like a beehive or something. Looks like a beehive, doesn't it? Like yeah, little it does. beehives. So this petal comes like this and swirls. All right, it has a little curve to it. It's a little bit wider here and comes out to a point. He's got one that's coming down like this. He's got one that's a couple of these that are going out. Notice I'm getting white paint, paint for each one of these petals. Like that. Okay, and more white paint. Is that still the fluid or is that? That's the fluid, and that's just, you know. And this is coming up and down. That's the shape. Like that. And... Um, Here's one behind it. Okay. Now, all right, so here's this guy. He's, he's got the away. first little petal. It's a sort of a short, <clears throat> shortened one. Here's our first little petal kind of looking right at us almost. Uh, just a little bit off from the side of that stem. And then here's a little longer one coming this way. Like this. And he's got a longer one coming over that one and these two overlap. This is coming out a little further. And then there's one that's foreshortened because it's behind him so we don't see it. We won't see that until we actually put him in. And then you've got one that's kind of touching here and back like that. He's going to come up this tall so we're going to make that one 
a little bit longer. Okay. Now next is this one. Now we have to we have to pay a little more attention to it now. So we're saying that this pedal is right here. So here's this guy here. All right. So I just have to have an anchor pedal to figure out where I'm going. You've got one coming down like this, and then you've got a nice big one coming here, and I'm going to reshape my brush by pinching it. So this is kind of coming down to a point, and that this is shorter. They're going out, but you don't see it. And then this guy comes. There's another flower in here we're not putting him. I'm announcing that now. There's one kind of in between here, but he is not going to be... Uh, well, don't you want an odd number anyways? There we go, and a little one right here. So there you go. So there's our there's our flowers there, and then we've got another one back here, with no, not gonna be odd. that's here off the side like that. And then there's a little thing. So there's our okay. That's our flowers. Oh yeah. What about this guy? It's gonna fit the guy at the top. Yeah, we got the guy at the top, and so he's got. Um, let's just stop a minute. He's got some green at the bottom up here that we got to put in first. Pretty dark too. There's this green here that comes out underneath him with a little tiny bit of the light green showing out from underneath him like that. And there's a little bit of that green here on this one before we dry stuff. Let's just make sure we have it. You don't really see it. You see a little bit of it in this one, but um, that's all right. There you go. All right. So you don't you don't see that in the others, okay? So, but I do want something dark going up. I want to make sure that I've got this dark green going up here. Okay little clump of something that I could live without. So how, you know, so then remember, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So remember the big speech about remembering how you found all this stuff, right? Um, so I know that I need this a little bit lighter next to the stem. And that's easy enough to do. See that? You can see that stem because I put a little bit of light behind it. And the same thing here. I put a little light behind it here and here. So, you know, get in the habit of being aware of your lights and darks. All right, let's take a moment and dry this and put in the flowers. What do you think? What about the guy at the top? Does he get any white? Uh, well, there's green there. I might be able to get away with white. Let's see if we can do white with him. All right. All right, so he's, he's up here at the top doing this, right? All right, so then he's got... Um, Okay, I think we can do something like that. Now, yes and yes. One more question. Mm. Typically, you tell us that you have odd numbers, and right now we have six. Yeah, that's the way it goes. <laughs> well, you know what? I could put, I think there's another little petal here. You know, there's a little dark flower here, and then there's a little yellow petal that comes up like this. There's something coming back here, and I might just swirl around and, and imply a flower that we're not seeing. How's that? Okay. And then let's go back to our light because we lost it. You notice that we had some light and then we didn't? Did anybody because else I'm, see that? We just we had well, light no, and then I'm we didn't. So in. there's a few little, there's a little bit of light there and I feel, I don't oh, know. Oh yes, they all dried. They dried. As you say, acrylic dries darker. Yeah, it dries darker, and then you think, ah, I was doing so great, just so proud of myself, and then what the heck happened? There, see? So it doesn't hurt to, um, and I think I want to take some, I like this pale green color that's here too, though, in the picture. 
I really like that. I wonder what would happen if we added it. You know this pale green color right here? Right where? It, see, see this color? It's almost white. Down on the, down the yeah, deck? Yeah, here, down here on the deck. I wonder if I like that. Do we like that? I don't that? know if I like that. Where's it coming from? No idea. <clears throat> I don't know where it's coming from. There's a little bit of it in the, in the, in the, here, and there's a little bit of it, uh, of it here. Let me just see what's, like. we can take it out if we don't like it. That's the wonderful thing about acrylics. This can so go. We'll put a drop of, uh, cad red medium in there to, it's, um, it's kind of like a blue, it's a blue color. It's really a blue color. And um, with a little cad red, it's a, and it's really light, okay? It's so light, it's just almost, it's Indistinguishable. I don't know, it's just, but it was sort of pretty. Hmm. Maybe there are painters and artists and they have something lighter here. And uh, I don't know, there's a little bit of this blue back here too. I just thought it was pretty. I mean, there was something about this that I kind of liked, right? Uh, yeah, it's just sort of, it's, 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 it was interesting. Yeah? Yeah, I'll give you that. It, it was very differently lit, this thing. So mostly we're talking about, um, you know, the yellows, right? Mostly we're talking about the yellows and the oranges, right? As being where we want this, right? Okay, and I'm just going to pull some, you know me with the art stuff. <laughs> and I, and I kind of like that, but I, on the other hand, it, that was sort of pretty. You know, I like that kind of blue-green kind of... Well, it looks good now that you tied the yellow in with it and, and yeah, orange. It, yeah, I just tied something in with it, just playing with it. Really, I'm just playing with it, right? If we don't like it, we'll take it out later, but it is sort of nice. It gives it sort of an arty feel. So You just can't be a slave to the photograph, but th that was pretty. All right, so now, has this dried enough to do, do yeah, one. probably has dried enough to do the yellow one. You sure? Mm-hmm. All right. So now, let's see, let's get all this out of the way. Uh, this is the time when you don't want a green flower. So since you know that already. You want a really clean yellow flower. You want a clean brush and clean yellow paint. This is time to get up and wash your brushes. Um, <clears throat> So we're going to do a whole new spot of cad yellow medium. That's right, right here. Maybe this doesn't. Oh, right have... there in the middle of the green. Well, this you is dried. Do this, not is roll this, your top. Is this is this is tried. This I is would have dried. put it up at the top. Away from of course, that. you That's fine. It's yours. You're, this is your paint project. Yeah. Yes, it <laughs> is. Okay. So now I'm going to take a small little brush, like this little angle brush, and we're going to start with the yellow, and we're going to come over the. I need a little bit more red with that, a little bit to put a tiny bit of cad red in it, not much. It's yellow, but it's, there we go, now it's too much. Well, it's probably a different yellow I could have used, but this is the one we've got right now, okay? Well, that's nice with you could have a little bit of streaking action with that, or with the yeah, cat you do. You get it. the so cat it's just not a solid. No, you you're giving it some some depth, some feel. Well, the thing is that the, that the the orange comes up from the top of this, from the your flower. These flowers are more. These ones in the back are more kind of an orange, red, yellow, right? These back here. Thing like that. The darker orange comes out this way, and then let's put a little white and yellow. Okay, like that. And then this, these yellow flowers here on the tips are lighter. Okay, so there's that one. Now that can be drying while we do some others. Because we have highlights, but all right, let's just say, for the sake of argument, this is these. These are more of the, you know, it's got almost an orange color to them. See, most people would just have painted these. Um, Solid see, yellow. Yellow, you know, burnt sienna and yellow. This one's darker back here. Okay, and these back here are darker. The ones that are back here. Let's They come off of here, and this is 
going to bring this that way. Okay, so that's fun, right? And then let's come on out here to here. Say so these are darker red. This is kind of fun, isn't it? I think I, I'm, it's, it's a very nice painting. I think it's very, um, you know, one that I kind of like too that we've done here is those yellow sunflowers and the purple background. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit more conservative. This is, um, so this would be a pretty uh, Mother's Day gift. Yes. Uh, Mother's Day is in May. It's w way gone, so it's too late <laughs> for that. But it would have been, right? No, don't, go ahead and laugh, but I'm just saying, right? Yeah, well, well next year. Or, you know. Does it doesn't hurt to shop early. <laughs> that's, that's it. Well, as a kid, what kind of stuff did you give your mother for Mother's Day? Did you come up with crazy stuff? you remember? Well, yeah. Well, that's back when we were in school. We made ashtrays and things like that. <laughs> did your mother smoked? Oh, heck yeah. In the 60s, everybody smoked. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I can say that nobody in our households, I grew up with nobody smoking. Oh, both and, parents. And when I was a kid, teenager, I wanted to smoke, and my mother gave us, she gave us an a, an iron pot, you know, like a, like a miniature cauldron, about this tall, the size of a cantaloupe, yeah. maybe a little bigger. Yeah. Had it filled with sand. And we could sit out on this bench, my sister and I, and smoke out there if we felt the need. It's very boring to sit out on a bench and smoke. It really was just not fun at all, right? <laughs> I, I, it so she kind of nipped that in the bud for you. Well, but and then she took it up about, when she turned about 55 or 60, she took up smoking. Long after she had done, you know, well, I Why left home. Why would you home. bother at that age? Uh, she found it made her sit down. She was a very nervous person. Uh. She used to refer to herself as high strung. High strung. You know, and that was her excuse for any bad behavior. I'm high strung. I'm a screwball. Your old mother's a screwball. Yes, but you just beat the crap out of me. Well, I'm a screwball. I'm so sorry. You just, you know how it goes. You know, as the one who's on the bunt end of the screwball business, not so much, lady, but <laughs> just, just, yeah. you know, enjoy that, right? That this, I'm a screwball. That was always her excuse. And my therapist, think, you know, what, what was, you know, my therapist. I love that. My therapist. I didn't uh, have one of those. Yeah, just gonna. We're gonna suggest that there's a little. Remember, we said there was something in there too. All right. <laughs> so now this is kind of cool. So let's bring the yellow over here on the end of this one. And the tip of that one. And this one had some yellow right here on the edge, right? The edge, the edge, the edge, the edge. On the edge. Do do do. Did any of your brother smoke? Um, I don't remember. I think my brother Jensen did. In fact, he, um, yeah, he did till he died. He said he didn't want to be, live to be an old person, and he didn't. Mm -hmm. So he got his wish. I just pointed out that you couldn't always plan how you left. It was all very well to not want to be an old person, but how did you think you might exit the planet? You couldn't always <laughs> um, get those wishes, right? Yeah. A little bit of yellow right there on the jar. And I like this little bit of yellow in the... In oh, the it's table too, it, it looks good. You know, it's just sort of pretty kind of ties that back in. And um yeah, no, he was um he was a smoker for sure. And uh, my brother Jay didn't smoke. Dennis quit when he was like in his almost fifty five. I, I started smoking blowing I was like ten years old. I, I was blowing um we had gone up to Hood's Canal and my parents had rented a a kind of an old shack. A house is too nice a word for this place we were in. It's a real dump. You know, I think it was quaint now, but as a kid, I was just kind of rolling my eyes. It was old and, you know, smelled like, you know, old people. You know how some houses just smell like old people? <laughs> Come on, there's a... Because <laughs> there's a smell. I'm not kidding. You know, you notice it when you're young and not decaying yet. <laughs> Thank God you don't notice it as you get older because there is definitely a smell entitled to old people. I'm putting a little I'm more. glad I'm not old. I'm too, glad you're not old either. I'm telling you what, because there is definitely a smell entitled, to, you know, whoops, in that. There you go, like that. Okay. So I think I'd like to dry this before we go any further, but it's getting cute, right? Yes and yes? back out so we can see what we got. What do you think? We haven't even done the Black Eyed Susan part yet. 
No, but it's really looking nice. That's cute, isn't it? I mean, for just, you know, a simple little photograph, I think we've done... How, how, I think how, you improved upon the photograph. Well, that's the idea, you guys. All right, we're going to dry, right? All right, go for it. Okay. So, in order for you to see this video, you had to get up on YouTube, and if you didn't have internet, like, you can't watch it, right? But sometimes we don't have internet. Maybe you're traveling, and you want to be able to paint and sit there with your laptop or your iPad or your, your phone, and you want to sit out on a campground somewhere, or uh, maybe go visit relatives, and they live out in the boondocks and don't have good internet, and you want to still paint. Well, that's a one reason, and just one of many, but certainly one great reason why you want to check out our downloadable videos that you can buy and own forever and uh, keep playing back and d no uh, monthly or weekly subscription necessary. You own it forever and we have some fabulous titles that uh, I know you're going to love and some aren't even in our academy. They're exclusively for our downloadable website. So check out, what's the website? Ginger Cook On Demand. Ginger Cook On Demand. I knew it. I just had a senior moment there. See you then. And we're back. <laughs> we're back. How pretty is this, you guys? All right, so let's put the, um, I think I want a little Dosnin purple. Of course you do. Um, yeah, it wouldn't just be black. No, I want Dosnin purple. Where'd it go? Oh, here. All right, nice big tube of that. All right. Why did I give you a big tube? So there we go. Now, a little Dosnin purple and a little Cad Red medium will be probably just the color we want for the, uh, the center of the black eyes. Brown center. All right. So now remember, it's a shape of a gumdrop, which is wider at our beehive, wider at the bottom, kind of tapers up to the top. Yes, everybody remembers that. Yeah. And we're just going to tap in little dots to suggest that that's what's here. Yeah. It's okay. not perfectly round. Yeah. Give them a little feel. They've got to have it. And we're going to tap fuzzy. in the shape right here like that. Okay. So it's not tricky, we're just gonna do it, yeah? Now this one is gonna be a little tricky. Why is that? Because you can't see it. So we're gonna add a little bit of red to this, cad red to that, see if that helps. We're gonna suggest, we know we want this one up here. We're gonna add a little cad red so you can kind of suggest it. So you can kind of see him up there. And then this one is gonna be the full on, the full Monty, as they say. Did you ever see that movie, The Full Monty? Uh, Irish movie, probably didn't watch it because you couldn't understand anything they said right. for a while. But it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life. I mean, it's so funny. All right, so here we go. This one right up here like this. They talk funny. Well, it, I, you almost had to listen for a while before you could kind of translate it. All right, so remember, it's kind of white at the bottom here like that. Comes up here in little dots like that. Okay, this is a... Okay, so... The, the, oh, isn't that cute, huh? Yes and yes. Okay. Something a little darker under here, I think. So, now. Oh, yeah, there was one right here, too, remember? We said there was one kind of that went behind this flower like this. Kind of behind back there, there was one. came off here. All right. I guess if there was any others, we'll, we'll just put some dark brown or something. There you go. So there you go. So there's our, um, our flowers. Now, the thing is that you can't really see some of these, can you? Hmm? No? Because of the, 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 background. the background. So, you know, that's why I told you. To, to, you know, I wasn't sure where these were going to go, so that's why that's I told you. That's why you got to remember how you made your background. You've got to remember how you made the background. So we have to dry these real quick. Just, a, just for a second, you guys, and I want to, I think there was a petal here. Let me, so I'm drawing something. Let me put a, I think we said there was a, uh, you know, another flower right there. I want to make sure I have that. I'll play with these flowers for a little bit and then let that dry, and then I can do the background. I want to take a little bit of orange, make a little bit of an orange color, and then work on these flowers a little bit, and then we'll work on the background so you see the Susan part of it, the black, the little eyes of the Susans. So a little bit of yellow and cad red medium, which is your orange red, right? Now we're going to come out from here. Okay, out from the 
center of this. Oh, you know what? If you get into the brown, though, you'll mess it up. So we should dry it. Let's just take a minute and dry those. They just, no, no help for it. They have to be dried. Is it going to be a real quick dry? Quick dry. Fast dry. All right. How did I do? Well, I think I could have run a minute. I think you were probably a minute. Did, did I overrun it? No, I didn't run anything because I thought it was going to be a quick try. Oh, So sorry. I just turned off the sound. Okay. They could see you dry one time. I guess so. It doesn't matter, right? You're yeah. drying something, yeah? All right, so I'm going to put my... I need to put my... You're going for the background now? I'm going to do a little bit of background. To get, get a little bit of background here to make it a little bit darker here, but I need a little bit of background to, um, for instance, like right here, like this, if I had, if I, if I said there was a little bit of background right like this, maybe I could just come around here with this kind of, this is, you know, you can, you can have a dark background, right, but you can then also come where you need to lighten it up. We need to lighten it up a little bit so you can see something. Then go on back to the other one, right? So I'm just going to say it's a little bit lighter right there. I just wanted to see that. This one, I don't know. Let's see. I think I need it redder. Here we go. So you have that you have that option, right, to just be able to um, you know be able to lighten something if you need to and still blend it in because these as long as these backgrounds are dry, you can layer and layer and layer them. So I mean that's okay. You just have to make sure that you've Kind of layered them out there, right? So that one, that one shows up a little more, right? Now, um, and I'll make that a little bit darker. And uh, this one, I think, for rather than have this, I think I'll put another petal next to this one. This one, I really think another petal would would work better than a than a than something like here. If I put right behind this one, if I put another petal like this. See, that's a little bit easier to see, I think, yeah. than than trying to try to manipulate that background. Than trying to, you know, nip 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 the background, because we're going to start, you know, putting our second layer of yellow on, right here, and um, uh, brightening up some of these flowers, right, like this, and particularly this one on the front. Let's just brighten up that one like that. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And this one here on the on the right, it's got a nice, these, these petals are really uh, light. Here, okay. Now we're going to get the big guns out. Let me, I want to, want to. All right, here's Cad Yellow Light. Oh, that's not what I thought you were going to get. Yeah, this is Cad Yellow Light. Now let me show you this color. Whoa. You can't mix this color. It's just not cad with white. No, you can't make it. So if we're talking about wanting a few little highlights on something, 
Just to punch it up. So, I mean, you can't, you, you can't. Can't beat it. Can't do that. What was that movie like that? You can't, whatever you weren't supposed to be able to do. There, a little highlight on that. Let me look at that. I mean, that's, you can't get that color. Now, it's not on all of them, but there might be like on a chip on this leaf here, on the very tip of the petal. And maybe um, kind of have the lights grabbing it. Yeah, like the lights might be grabbing just the chip of somebody, right? See, see how the and, and that's exactly. There's nothing too much back here. There's just a little bit on the tip of that leaf. So you know, we're not talking about that one. And the same thing here, like that. There you go. See, and that's really amazing. Here's just yellow, yellow. And it's, there's a little bit of just yellow right here. Okay. I thought I heard a bee or something. Saw these flowers. Did you? Oh, that's a fly? A bee? What is that? It's a fly. Oh, good, because I was thinking we had gotten so realistic that we were bringing <laughs> in the wildlife. All right, so here's a little bit of orange coming out of here like this, right? Just out of the center like that. Same thing here. Let's bring these colors out. Just, nothing is ever just yellow, okay? I mean, I know you'd think it would be, but it's not. Some are going to be more, flowers are going to be more important than others. But I, I would say we've got, these are really pretty, aren't they? Yes, they are. Is um, that top I have a Susan eyeball? Yeah, you just didn't see him. I'm going to turn him into purple and see. He just keeps his feet fading away. Well, yeah. There he is. There, he's in the... Oh, he's the guy that's kind of upside down to us. Yeah, he's purple, and then let's let's do a darker, a little bit of purple on these. Let's just go pure purple. That's dark. Purple has a bit of a shine to it anyway, and so they'll kind of just stick right out there. And then this one, too, they want, they'll want to stick out because they're... Um, Cause they're purpley. Because they're purpley. That's it, because they're purpley. Right? And I wanted to do something. This leaf was in the jar here, this dark leaf, and it just, we sort of lost its shape. Remember we talked about this one, why they left him in there like that? But here he is to fix the shape on that. Extra so, I mean, I'm just saying that, look, see, we didn't, what we didn't do was put a line across here and run a stupid flower <laughs> right up to the line, which is dumb. And, you know, uh, w w we took a little time. If you're going to take the time to take the picture, it would have been nice to take a little more time with the picture, but that's okay. We're not, as that's, an artist, as an though, artist, you can, you can, you can do that. Things. See, you yeah. can come in here like this if Fix you need it. to, and, and you can, um, you can make your preferences Known. How's that? Now, this has to be a little lip here on the... Because sometimes the photographer's at the mercy of the scene. Yes, and John's a professional photographer, and he has great sympathy for that, right? So a little bit of purple and white. Yeah, but when you set up a still life, no excuse. Purple and yellow make a gray, too. Did you guys know that? I knew that. So and why? A... They're opposite on the color wheel. As you can <laughs> see, you have a color wheel right there on your screen. So we want a light gray here underneath this side of the... <clears throat> mason jar. So we're doing purple. We put that there for your convenience. So purple is sort of the complement of, uh, it's not sort of, it is the complement of. Um, sort of the complement. Uh, there's a little bit of purple right here in this thing. Let, let's do that and then we'll do a little white over it there. Okay, that's pretty. It's all yeah. about layers. And let's do a little something right here. I feel like um, somehow I, lo I lost my curve, and let me just put my curve in. You see how this curved? I lost the curve. Oh, so in the water. I lost the curve in the water, but that's easy. I can put that back. It's sort of a light green color. Let's see if any of this green is no. There. Here's some white and green. There you go. Kind of a light green color. All right. So we're gonna with more white. Okay, mostly. All right. So now I want to come under here like this. And say that this is this is the our water line here. I want to make sure that this curve is correct. Okay, I mean it just wasn't before, but it could be. Now now it is. Let's do this. And here's a little bit of white on my brush. I want this to be you know how acrylics dry darker? 
Where's our white paint? Let's just get a little more fresh white out for the highlights. And we're almost done. We're almost done, you guys. I hope this was fun. If you like this type of lesson, we have over 400 lessons. Our Art Academy, this is me and you talking and, uh, and explaining stuff and, and why you do things. This is kind of how, this is a very nice way of, of learning to uh, paint. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, and, you know, we are... People say, well, I don't have time. If you're painting anyway, you know, I figured out our videos are like, because there's so many, for um, under 35 a month, and it's under, what, 30 a month if you're a senior. It's not even not even the cost of going out at McDonald's for dinner. Not anymore. No. I mean, it just, it just it's so inexpensive and to do. And a lot do. healthier for you. Yeah. And, um, and it's certainly not the cost, you know, you think about the cost of your... Um, uh, your canvas and your materials and if you're wasting materials making paintings that aren't making you happy then you haven't saved any money which is so true um, I forgot to plug my iPad in and it's going it's having a little heart attack over there <laughs> all right so you see how we just sort of fixed the mason jar the edge of the mason jar here we we kind of added the lights back again here like this there we go here's the curve put that little curve there and uh, here's my purple, and I'm going to put my little curve out here on the edge of this one, too. Oh, when you say curve, you're talking about the rim? There's a little bump right here that comes out a little bit and then goes yeah, back in. Yeah, that's the rim. Is that, the is rim that what the you're top. calling it, the rim? Okay. So put that back. And let's see, what else do we want to put under here? I think there's some water there. I don't know why that goes there. I want something dark right here. Under here, this is where I want it the darkest. So put a little purple here. I want this darker right there. And then take a little bit of brown and shove this back out. <coughs> and then we need a little bit of white. You see constantly the little white stuff. This. There we go. You're not going to outline the jar, right? Everybody's good with that? Yeah. No, we promise. No, everybody's promised there's no outlining the jar. Right? There's just none of that. Here's some more light highlights on a few of the stems, yeah? Like that, that are in there. Okay? And, uh, I'm thinking of what anything else we need to do. I, I think, you know, short of spending another two or three hours just really trying to make those flowers look <laughs> as realistic as possible, I want you to say, I think we've got a bang-up job on this jar, don't you think? I and think these so. Flowers. Now, why don't you, can you back out again for a minute? Yeah, back out for a minute. I want to show you this. Because I think if you're thinking about it, well, I'm going to punch the Academy up again in this sense. You look at this vase, right? And All right, and that looks really complicated. But I show you how to paint it the same way I showed you how to paint this one. And it, once you discover that that's a learnable, really doable thing, it's fun and it's like magic creating creating your artworks like this. It's just, it's, um, let's take a little bit of light, thalo blue in this color. That, you know, really light green here. Almost a white in it. Oh, it's just a white celery green. I want a little bit lighter stem here. Came. I kind of lost the light on my stems. There we go. There, I can put them back. All right, I'm going to call that the end of our, our project for this this uh, this 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 uh, hour, and hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, uh, I think if we took a black and white of this, we'd be pretty happy with the results. Um, Everything is suggested. You don't have to, again, you don't have to outline everything to make it work. I like this little bit of blue-green in here. I thought it was pretty. Kind of added. It kind of gave it an old-timey feel. There Didn't it? Go. This color here gave I don't know why. I guess, but it did to me, right? This sort of old-timey feel on this. And um, so there you have it. We've got the implied a jar uh, without outlining the whole thing. It's a little bit, it's a little more advanced way of painting, but I think, I think you, you guys got it easily. 
And listen, I'd love to see your paintings of this. And if you were a member of our Facebook club, which is free, on uh, you could just just post that. You could join and post your images, right? Absolutely. And and, and, and please do that. Just think think about you know doing that, because I think that would be great. Great fun. So black-eyed Susans, wow, this is really pretty. Let's get out a little Posca pen. You think of anything else we want to add to this, John? I wonder if I should use a yellow Posca pen. Maybe, huh? Oh, wow, I'm crazy. I don't know. White's good. <laughs> Check in. Get that great, crazy. I'm just going to sign it right there, right? Well, yes and yes. White might be a little much. Mm hmm. How about gold? This is pretty. This is a gold one. You gotta really shake that one hard. Huh? You gotta shake it. You really have to shake this one? Yeah. Well, all right. Well, we're shaking. Let's review. <laughs> what did we learn today? We learned that you have to have your vase on both sides of the jar, right? That you can turn it upside down and just paint colors, not lines. That you're not outlining anymore. You're just painting in colors and see what happens. You learned a little bit about how to do a background, kind of a, a gradated background. You get kind of a first class Real classy painting here. Where's that little frame over there, John? Can you grab that for me? I'm going to show you what this would look like in a frame while I'm shaking this up to sign it. It's right behind me. I think this is charming. Charmant, as they Charmeau. used to say in boarding school in France. So like Shamu? <laughs> like Shamu. Charmant, uh, which means charming. And uh, All right, look at this. Well, I don't think I look at that because I don't know if I backed out enough to look at that. All right, back it out. Back it out. See what I got. See what you got here. Oh yeah, I got a back out. So. Oh, look at that. Now that goes perfect in that frame. Isn't that cute? That is perfect. Okay. Look at that. An old barn wood frame. And that's really cute. And then we talked about that. And let's see if this. Let's see if this is. This. Let's see. Um, is it working? I don't know. Let me just write on the back. Yeah. There you go, cook. Very subtle, but there it is. It doesn't That's have it. to be obnoxious. There, all right, cook. Perfect. All right, that, that's it, you guys. Um, our uh, our black-eyed Susan in a mason jar. So Black-eyed Susan. Be sure to share this video. Uh, don't forget thumbs to up subscribe. Thumbs up Give, give us lots of thumbs up. Write some comments on, uh, after this uh you know, after you get a, get a chance, write a few comments. Um, we appreciate it. We love hearing from you. And uh, spread the word. We're fun to be here. It's, it's a fun channel. Enjoy it. Thanks, everyone. Let's stay tuned for this important message. Well, you guys, I don't think I can look at another commercial about how to unstop the toilet. Or um, maybe you two can learn to draw that, you know, we... We have to have those in our video in order to kind of cover some costs. But I thought it would be fun, as long as we were doing it, to put a commercial in for ourselves. So here's the, here's the commercial from me to you. I want you to have a wonderful day. I want you to be the artist you can be. I want you to get up in the morning and say, today's the day I'm going to be happier than I was yesterday. This is my commercial and wishing you the bestest, happiest day of your life. And art hugs from John and I. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.